How's it going, boys and girls? Welcome to the Crooked Man. It has definitely been a long time since I've even put up a video featuring this figure, this game, this story. But today, we're going to be jumping in to where we last left off. Damn it. David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to and where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley, he's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him, scared that he'd do something there's no turning back from. I was just moving to get his mind clear, but that didn't help, now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Huh? Damn it, I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. What do you mean? Why would the room be... Uh, don't tell me ghost stories at a time like this. I'm always talking about how you see things and... David! David, where are you? The, the abandoned hospital in Storford. Why would you be over there? Listen, I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please. Don't. Leave me alone. David. Hey. David. He's in Storford. Probably take a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marion. I'm going to get David. I'm going with you. David's my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. Alright, let's go. Speaking of motorcycles, I have to go deal with mine. David's car, he's gotta still be here. Come on, Marion, it's dark, so stay close behind. Right. I forgot WASD doesn't work for this. I was running. Those footsteps? They were from upstairs. Is that you, David? Who's there? What are you doing there? A girl? What are you doing in this old place? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? But your friend is important to you, right? Hey, what the heck are you? Who the heck are you? What about this place? Go see him. Man, what the hell was that? Can't be the elevator shaft at all. Isn't there a dead dog in your last? All painted over. No one, what the hell was that? I thought I saw something. I'll have my beautiful editor check that out. Oh, it's David. I've checked every room, but he's not here. It's 
no one here either. I don't even remember being at the hospital last. There's the dead cats. So the university. David's not here. Because... Oh, it can't be. This is the same place. Then it has to be something else. Which means we heard running coming from a different area. If I go through here... Someone else, David. Hey, who are you? Yo, you again? The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. The truth? I'm counting on you. I'm a sissy. And that means the little boy was up here. Yeah, this is the same place. The further we go up means... There was a crooked man, he walked a crooked mile, this is the child, a kid. D don't tell me there's a kid walking around here. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He bought a crooked pat, which bought a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Kid, what are you doing? Hey, you listen to me. Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry, and he couldn't find, fathom why. He was sad all the time, and he sighed. And so he... Mr. David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What's with that kid? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about him. Let's go marry him. Marry him, what's up? Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know th this isn't the time for that? No, Mary, what do you mean teasing you? Just, who do you keep talking to? Huh? Still trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. We just need to find David. No jokes. So that's it. Marrying. Go home and leave the hospital. Sorry for trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. I'm staying with you. If anything happened to you, I'd be putting... Alright, let's come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. Up we go. Coming for you, buddy. David, what are you doing out here? David. Why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave. Stay away. D Dave, for you. I'm hopeless. I keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm a crooked man. No matter what, that's what I'll always be. And those are the only things I'll have. D Dave, what? What's that? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So right here, right now. David! Snap the fuck out of it. Ow. You damn monster, get away from David! 
Hey, ow, stop, stop, ow. Hiya. That hurt, stop, you moron. D David, you're back with us. Don't say that like I went nuts. I've been sane from the start. Like hell. That's the kind of thing you do, sane. I'd have to beat you up till you promised not to. Now, about the stuff you've been doing, better tell me everything that happened. Hmm, sissy, dear, and fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you blame me on the monster? That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Marion never believe me. Sheesh. Anyway, about Sissy, D, and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh, that's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Listen up, David. People's consciousness consciousnesses, they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult shtick. You seriously making fun of the occult after all this? Just listen and no jokes. So, you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked to the place, it was fine, but once you moved in, I had this strange feeling from you. And from that room, I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness, consciousness was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy, too. So you're saying he's calling me? Yep. And you're unconsciously responsing. responsing. Some people are soft-hearted to the core and always sympathize with others, and they get taken advantage of the most. Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from the stuff you left, and that's all the stuff you could identify with. So, what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. Think back. The crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. And on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you? We wanted your help. What? Sissy. D. Fluffy. He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's why I'm thinking, honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. It's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help, he helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm. What's up? There's something in my pocket, when did I pick this up? An address, and I don't think it's that far. I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So, I'm going. David. You come back to a safe. I don't want to go to my friend's view. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Scene 4. Central Hospital. Pole. End.
and just like that, we have reached the final step towards what we seek, towards what there is, the crooked man. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is Sandy, signing off.